Hi everyone, welcome back to Abla Nale channel. Today's topic is MS Excel Flash Fill and Custom Auto Fill. It's a new feature which is added in Excel, Microsoft, and it is uh, been very effective. And also you can make your process much easier and smoother. Let's get started like what we're gonna discuss today. We're going to discuss four elements, four tips. One is called generally we do a truncate right so first name last name or the date and month separately and all that all the separations can be done much easier with the help of uh, custom uh, flash and uh, autofill and all that so that we are going to discuss and the next one is when you put a word called jan and you drag it automatically all the value come down like jan feb march april and so on and so forth and even if you put Sunday, another following things comes up. And how it comes up, what else we can add it, we can discuss it. And there is something called custom list. For example, elsewhere you wanted to add. For example, you wanted to add the quarter, quarter one, quarter two, quarter three. Or you wanted to add east, west, north, south. Or you wanted to add male, female. All these custom lists, you can also do it uh, you know, very easily with the help of this very feature itself. And then there is a lastly, I would like to touch upon without keyboard and how we can delete the data just how we can there is something called mouse over right so how we can do and get it done so these four things we're going to uh, discuss today let me start right away so this is the simple one let me start with the very simple uh, features let me delete all the data so for example if you put like jan okay and you just click mouse over and then drag it okay automatically it comes here like you know jan february march april and all that so even if you do in long format, for example, like this format, and you just move around, okay, and then automatically comes down. For example, even if you put like Sunday, right, and the next thing is Monday and all that, right, so automatically comes down here, right, seven days, automatically comes down. Like this, various things, we can easily do that. And uh, for example, let's say another thing, like one, two, three, let's say one, two, and generally, this is the default which you will be using in day in, day out, right? For example, one, two, you have, and then uh, the, you know, you can just scroll down a bit and then automatically all the other numbers get filled in, right? Let's assume that you just change the number, one, three, right? And then do. So the Excel understand the relation between first cell and the second cell, and then it brings the following terms as such, like one, three, four, five, seven, one, three, five, seven, and all that. Let's let me do that two four yeah simple one right so two four so if you just uh, just select these two cell so Excel understand the relationship between these two cell and then it brings the associated values if you just do that automatically comes down here two four six and all this is one common feature which has been uh, you know added right so this is one thing which you all uh, will be using it and all this is tips number one and let's talk about the tips number two. So tip number two is, uh, let's say you have a field, the custom one you wanted to add. For example, let's assume that I have East and, and then you wanted to switch around and you wanted to put, put the values around. So since I have already stored the value, it will come, other way it will not come. So how to do it? Very simple. All you need to do is go to uh, this tiny, there are two ways to do it. Uh, there is a custom quick access toolbar. You can have a click it and you can give more comments and then you can go to advanced. In the advanced, you can just scroll down. Okay. If you scroll down, you have something called, okay, keep scrolling down and you have edit custom list. Under general, you have edit custom list. I will click on custom list and you can see that these are all the value like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Uh, Monday and the full version, Jan, full version, all these is that Monday, Tuesday are, uh, all these are already there. So this is the value I have already stored it, right? How to store this value? Let me delete this value. So it may, let me delete the value and add it for the benefit of you. So what we can do is, let's say these four value I wanted to store, right? Only one time you need to store. Maybe I will delete the whole thing. Okay. And then is ways now. Okay. Enter it and then import it. So when you import it has been added, right? So, and then give, okay, that's it. It has been added. So anytime, even if you go like small letter, like is, right? Automatically it will give that uh, the next corresponding values, like east, south, north, west, east, and all that. So maybe 
so all these it comes uh, very very easily this is and then with the help of this what how we can use it very simple you just uh, select the data go to data let's do a sorting go to sort and i would like to sort like the, this is the in the shopping mall this is the values uh, in this is the people who have purchased male and female and uh, and those uh, from east south north and west so this is the same data i have used for chai square uh, data in statistical analysis let me see that mail in the mail smallest to biggest so this is usually it will give a smallest to biggest. let's go to custom in the custom i will select like east west north south and give okay and give okay and give okay so automatically this value you can see that the smallest to largest is there or even if you want the vice versa that is already there in that format and uh, even if you want uh, to have some colors you can do you can do and all that let's do that same thing for female uh, values uh, sort the values by east west and all that okay so again it has been sorted like smallest to largest so west has the largest and all that so like this we can make use of it let's take another example Okay, uh, the same tips number two, the second example. So this is the garments I have, like shirt, t-shirt, shirt, t-shirt, and all that. And these are all the size. And this is the quantity which is purchased, right? I would like to have, the, let's say this is in the shuffling order. Not, not in this one, it's in the shuffling order. Maybe I will just cut and paste here. And then, and then I will take all these values just to show you the output. Let's say this is the random values you have. And these random values, all you have to do is you have to sort, sort the custom sort we need. So some sometime when you do the sorting, we can do it uh, highest to lowest and all that, right? We need a custom sorting, like sort by uh, small, medium, large, Excel, uh, double XL and all that. Exactly how we add it, like east, south, west and all that, exactly the same thing we can go and add it. How to do? Go to uh, file and there are two ways. That is one way we can do it directly from here. Uh, and you can go here and click on advance and then scroll down a bit you will find something called edit custom in the edit custom i have already added this one yes m l xl double xl triple xl and all that i have already added right so and i will give okay so i have already added so now what i'm going to do i'm going to start custom start i will give it so do that and then sort by maybe uh, size okay and values and then custom sorts in the custom sort small big and all that give okay so it has been sorted like small this is the quantity medium this is the quantity you can you see here and even if you wanted to do coloring you can do that so some some color like top you can give some colors and uh, and and you can define the colors and all that so this is how we can do a custom sorting custom list right so let's uh, see that the last and the final one uh, final tip tips number three let's say this is the data i have uh like asim ahmad abrar Naveed, Ab abdul kalam india country taj mahal superman 15 january 15th uh, august and all that i wanted to find out the first and the last values right let me delete i wanted to find out so what we do generally when we put that first thing asim the next one is Abrar automatically the next uh, fill value comes in you give enter automatically get enter that's all and exactly the same thing so you, for the last thing also as well let's say ahmed and the next one is navid automatically comes out you just click here that's all right so this is as easier as like anything you don't need to create a formula trunk cut formula trunk the values and delimit it and all that so it's much easier we can do it without the formula without the you know delimit we can do it this one much easier i hope this is very informative video i will be making much more please do like